everyone, I'm Donna Louise, and for the love of puzzles, I'm doing a circle color gradient. I'm so excited for this puzzle. Not only is it a circle puzzle, it's a color gradient. And I found a new love of both of those types of jigsaw puzzles. Now this one's called Blazing with Color. It's a thousand pieces from Play Studio. That's not a brand that I'm familiar with, so I'm a bit worried about the quality of the pieces. We'll have to wait and see. Now, on the front of the box, there appears to be the solution key for the jigsaw puzzle. I don't know if that's just an aesthetic design or if it's true that when I finish the puzzle, I'll be able to compare the pieces and they'll match up. I'll try to do this puzzle without looking at the box. Basically, just look at it to see what colors go next to one another, but that's about it. I just hope that I love this puzzle as much as I'm hoping to love it. I was so excited when I found it and bought it and I just can't wait to dive right in. So, for the love of puzzles, let's get to building.
I wanted to talk about the puzzle pieces for a bit. This is not a spiral puzzle. It is concentric circles. And if you look, the center piece, hopefully that comes across on camera with the glare, is actually more of a square piece. And then the following pieces slowly curve and curve until you get really nice circles one after the other. I just love that it was concentric circles. The most kind of wonky donkey shaped piece are a few that have like two different connectors on the same side. But overall, they, they really felt like standard puzzle pieces. They weren't too crazy shaped, but I love the concentric circles. One thing I noticed while I was sorting, I thought I had found some extra border pieces. And what they were, you could almost consider it like a false edge. There were four of these. You see how the bottom's a little flat there? Well, I believe they just kind of were a bit like spacers that needed to be inserted on the second um, largest circle. So not the border, but the first circle in just to make a bit of room so all the pieces would fit. But look how beautiful these concentric circles are. This is just one of the wedges from uh, the puzzle. Of course, it's the purple wedge, my favorite color, purple. But yeah, so I had found four of these kind of false ed pieces and I was a bit worried about where they went, but sorted that out pretty quickly. More like a spacer piece that needed to be in there in order to make the circle work. But yeah, how lovely is that? Concentric circles. I wonder if there's more puzzles, like circle puzzles that are concentric circles like this one. And it's done. And I loved every minute of it. I enjoyed this puzzle so much. I enjoyed the fact that it was a circle puzzle and it had a few like wonky pieces, but not too many. I enjoyed that the border was fully locking and I just enjoyed the color gradient aspect so very much. I felt the puzzle was easy to assemble. The difficult part came when I tried to tape the puzzle and break it up into sections so I could store it to pull it out at a later date. That's when I noticed how sticky and how uncooperative the pieces are to work with. But while I was assembling the puzzle, I didn't have an issue, maybe because I wasn't trying a lot of pieces in the wrong place. Perhaps then I wouldn't notice how much they stick to one another. Now I realize the typical puzzler doesn't tape the back of their puzzles, so that's just an issue for me, but boy, that was quite a chore. Um, the front of the box does not match up with the puzzle. I was able to complete it without trying to look at the front of the box. I felt it was very nice how the colors like gradiently went into one another. So I didn't feel the need to ever pull out the box. It was only after I finished the puzzle, I compared the pieces outline to the front of the box. And at first I thought, oh yeah, it's matching up. Well, three or four pieces may seem the same, but then it was different. So that will throw you off track if you try to use the front of the box to solve the puzzle. The other thing that I've noticed so far, I've only done two color gradient puzzles, but with both of the puzzles, for me, it was the orangey to reds to pinkish section that was the most difficult, because for me, it felt like the most difficult to differentiate between the shades. So that took a little bit longer, and it did also for that glitter Ravensburger puzzle I previously did but I had so much fun doing this. I loved every minute of it. It's all nice and taped up now, so I'm going to store it with the glitter puzzle. I wanna get more color gradient puzzles. I want all the color gradient puzzles, and I wanna just put them out next to one another eventually, but it was lots of fun. I truly enjoyed it. Is there a type of jigsaw puzzle that you enjoy so much that you just wanna do every single one that comes out, whether it's a certain image type or scenery or say funky shaped puzzle or a circle puzzle? For me right now, I found a newfound love for color gradient puzzles and for crip puzzles. Yes, and I enjoy them very, very much. But let me know in the comments below what's your like go-to jigsaw puzzle. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing and until next time, ciao!